वेलकम टू बिट फ्यूम्स आई एम योर होस्ट सार्थक एंड लेट्स नाउ स्टार्ट विथ पेपल पेमेंट इंटीग्रेशन बाय यूजिंग द चेकआउट फ्लो दे कॉल इट एक्सप्रेस चेकआउट सो वॉट यू नीड टू डू फर्स्ट फर्स्ट गो टू डेवलपर डॉट पेपल डॉट कॉम दिस इज द वेबसाइट एंड यू विल लैंड ऑन दिस काइंड ऑफ पेज पेपल जनरली चेंजेस द ले आउट बट ऑल एंड ऑल इट हैज टू बी द सेम द चेक आउट बटन हैज टू बी देयर सब्सक्रिप्शन टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स आर हैज आर ऑलवेज देयर सो वॉट वी नीड टू डू वी नीड टू गो टू द चेक आउट फ्लो सो लेट्स क्लिक ऑन चेक आउट एंड फर्स्ट थिंग हाउ दिस इज गोइंग टू वर्क लेट सी सो इफ यू आर गोइंग टू इंटीग्रेट पेपल पेमेंट इंटीग्रेशन इन योर वेबसाइट और ऐप There has to be a button called PayPal or Pay with PayPal type of things. So you have a website, then you have a button called PayPal. Then user clicks on this PayPal button. When the user clicks, we obviously add the amount, the currency, and some other details on this button execution. Then the button or the JavaScript behind this button. sends a request to paypal api then on that paypal api these things are processed and created a payment id so it's like a id which is referred to the details you are sending so with the one id you can get all the details for your payment then when it is complete it returns with pay payment id then as soon as it completes the payment process or we can say creating the payment process it will open up the login model or maybe in new page what this is for obviously the person or the buyer who is going to pay via paypal need to give his credentials the paypal user id and password then the buyer will get this kind of paypal pay now button which is just giving the details of the payment and saying that okay this much amount is going to deduct from your account so when the buyer clicks on this pay now button then again the execution came the javascript behind this paypal come and it will authorize that user on the paypal api once again so now while doing this in this process till now we have two important thing one is creating the payment id or simply creating the payment and id is referring for the payment then authorizing the user and while authorizing or after authorizing the user the paypal api create a payer id the payer the buyer id okay so on the whole process you just have two things one is payment id one is payer id so the payment id has all the information about the payments and the payer id has the all information about the buyer so doing this and after using these two payment id and payer id we will execute the payment this means that much amount is deducted from the user end or the buyer end then after that we will come back to the desired redirected page and this is the whole process of your paypal integration so if i sum up all these things into only three steps those three steps will be creating the payment to get the payment id authorizing the user to get the payer id and executing the payment that means cutting down the payment from the authorized user uh, paper then redirecting to the success page so in a paypal integration there is two kind of things one is client integration and other is server integration what are these things so as i told you we need to do these two things on the client end that means creating the payment and creating the payment is done by clicking the button and button is on browser that means on the client end so in the client integration we are going to give the button we are going to create the payment authorizing the user 
Then comes the most important part, executing the payment. Because executing payment has to be more secured, we will do this on server side. But these two are on client side. So in that way, we are assured that the payment or the amount given from this payment or we can say from the client side is exactly same we are using on the execution that means on the server side so these two these first and second steps will uh, come up inside the client integration then execution come up in the server integration so these two most important things so what happen in a client integration so as i have told you in a client integration we have a, again paypal button the buyer clicks on this button amount and other details go to the paypal api then paypal api create a id for all details of the payment return back and then the paypal integration setup or the javascript behind that opens the model for our second step which is authorize user so this is till now with the client integration but what going to happen after the client integration so after the authorization it's not given here after three step but the fourth step is actually after the authorization we will get some redirect url in the response by using that redirect uh, url we will go or we will redirect our user to the server integration so on the server integration again you can see it's given uh, for full server side integration but we have done setting up of payment via client integration so we are going to skip this step but execution of payment we will do on server side so as soon as the user clicks pay now then the user is redirected to our server and on the server we get the payment id and the payer id with the use of payment id we can fetch all the payment details or simply we can fetch the payment to which we are going to execute the payment then we will get some other informations verify informations and execute the payment on paypal end and then after if everything is good then we will show the success page or alert or message anything so this is very easy so on the server end we are going to use the php obviously because we are going to set up on our level but if you are using any other technologies there are all the server uh, integration and we can say the sdks are available so if you go on the api rest api at the bottom you will find sdks sdks are for java.net node php python ruby quite a good information given here so this is the process or this is actually the steps involved behind the payment from paypal so from the next episode we are going to start the client integration and going to use this code modifying this code little bit so that we can execute things on the server end this course is going to be a great course because you will never find this kind of integration of people so much easy that you will love these course so there is one request from my side because doing all these things reading the documentation takes lots of effort and lots of time so please please support bitfumes and to support bitfumes you just need to like on or follow on these platforms like facebook twitter instagram or subscribe to this channel and please please share with your other friends so that everyone can get the benefit we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye